Vader pull up homework today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! And so the little Flabberwock was rescued by the fairy princess, and they returned to the enchanted galaxy where they lived happily ever, blah, blah, blah. Station, you already told me that story a bazillion times. That many? Huh. Perhaps it's time to upgrade my fairy tale software. Yay, Lloyd's home! Hi, Lloyd. Will you play with me? Will you play with me? Not now, Francine. Hi, Lloyd. How was school? Same old song and dance. Mrs. Bold says to sign the slip. We're going on some field trip to Darkon 5 tomorrow night. Darkon 5? The landfill planet? Yeah. There's going to be some moon eclipse thing. Sounds educational. Permission granted. Can I go with you on the field trip, Lloyd? I wish you could go instead of me. It's not even during school. It's on a Friday night. You want to pretend tonight's Friday and watch TV with me? No. I want to get right to my room and do whatever I want. If I have to do school stuff tomorrow night, I better do twice as much goofing off now. Hi, Lloyd. Wanna play Candy Planet? I'll let you be the gingerbread droid. Nah, that game's stupid. How about goldfish people? How about no? Shoot some levitation tubes? Francine, I don't want to play any of your dumb games. They're all for little kids. Besides, you always cheat by reading my mind and levitating all the game pieces when I'm not looking. <laughs> a little privacy, please? Yellow. Dude, get your mitt. We're starting a flirt ball game in five. Yes, flirt ball. That's the game I want to play. I'm saying. Laters. Lloyd, wait up. Where do you think you're going? To play flirt ball with you and your friends. Were you listening in on my phone call? No, I just read your mind from my room. Well, flirt ball is a big kid's game. It's not for little... Mom, Lloyd won't include me in any of his games. Of course he will, honey. Won't you, Lloyd? No, I won't. She's a total pain. Lloyd, Francine looks up to you. All the big teenager things you do. Yeah? So? So? You're taking her. Mama needs a little quiet time. Ugh, fine. Come on, Francine. Yay! I love playing flirt ball with you, Lloyd. It's the best as ever. How do you play? Can I play yet? No, Francine, I told you. You're not big enough for flirt ball. Just float there and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Francine? You're welcome, Lloyd. Now can I play? No! And stop using your powers! It's unsportsmanlike! <laughs> uh, what the? Hey! <laughs> You're wrong, Lloyd! It's not unsportsmanlike! It's funny! <laughs> I'm warning you, Francine! If you mess up my pitch one more time, you're going home! Okay. That does it. Sorry, Lloyd, but I've had enough babysitting for one day. Let me know when you can come play by yourself. Yes, Lloyd. Sorry, but I must echo his sentiment. If you find yourself free, please give me a call. Bye, Lloyd. Thanks a lot, Francine. You just ruined my fun for the day. I just wanted to be part of the game. But hey, now we get to spend some time together, just us. Want to buy me some frozen Flavos spheres? Ooh, darn the luck. I'm flat broke. No, you're not. You got six Crontars in your pocket. I read your mind. You must be very sleepy after the special time you spent with Lloyd today. Night-night, sweetie. Get some rest. Mommy? Yes, Huggle Bunch? Can you make sure to leave the light on? Not for me, for Rosie. She's as scared of the dark. Sure, honey. I'll leave the light on. For Rosie. Mom, I'm going to Douglas's house. You can't go to Douglas's house. It's my bedtime and I can't go with you. Aw, oh, gee. That wrecks everything. You may go as long as your homework is done and you're back within an hour. Okay, Mom. Nighty night, Francine. Don't let the Veronian bed leeches bite. <laughs> Lloyd! Hey, guys. Listen, I'm sorry about the flirt ball game. That's all right, Lloyd. None us hold you accountable for our ruined afternoon. Yeah, it's Francine that's the problem. I can't hide from her. Not even inside my own head. That ain't right. A guy should be able to avoid his little sister. I wish I could stop her from knowing everything I think. Have you tried not thinking? I stop my brain lots of times. We'll have to talk about that, Kurt. As for you, Lloyd, you posit an intriguing challenge. Hmm. However, I may just have the solution in this. What is it? My intergalactic sensory information absorption helmet. A little gadget I developed. It's designed to unscramble signals from possible life forms across the galaxies. How can that freaky thing help me? When Francine reads your mind, she's reading the signals from your brain. 
With a few modifications, I believe this helmet could scramble your brain signals and render it completely unreadable. You mean, all I get to do is wear this thing, and she won't know what I'm thinking? In theory. Of course, it's never been tested. No problemo, Duggaroody. I'll be more than happy to test it. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, my fair miniature person. Hi, Lloyd. Hey, what cereal do you want to eat? I'll have some photon flakes. Then me too. Nifty. Juice box or glass? We big kids drink out of glasses. Then I will too. Swell. What you gonna do after school today? Oh, you know, I thought I'd come home, have a snack, and then go out and do lots and lots of big kid stuff. Without you. What's that stupid thing on your head? What, don't you know? Guess you better read my mind and find out. I will. See, Francine, my new anti-brat helmet is scrambling all my thoughts, so your telepathic brainwaves can't read them. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. <laughs> what in the void just happened? I don't know, but I feel funny, and I want Rosie. Hey, why am I over there? Durf, if I'm over there, why do I feel like I'm over here? And why am I puny and wearing a dress? Lloyd, what's going on? That stupid helmet! It didn't scramble my thoughts and reverse your brainwaves. It scrambled us and reversed our brains. I think we just switched bodies. Ah! Mother of meteorites! I'm a little girl! And I'm a teenager! I'm a... I'm a... Hey! I'm a teenager! Neat! Francine, for Drax's sake, stop singing! This is serious! We gotta fix this now! How are we supposed to fix it? This helmet switched us once! It should be able to switch us back! Quick, look at me and read my mind again! I don't want to switch back! I want to be a teenager! Oh yeah? Well then I'll tell Mom! She'll make you switch back with me! I'll make you do what? Mom! Mom! Francine was reading my mind and I used this mind scrambler helmet to block her brainwaves but then there was this big flash and we switched bodies! A body switch? Oh my goodness! You've got quite an imagination, young lady. Now come on, you're gonna be late for preschool. Preschool? No! Don't do this to me! Lloyd, I'm running your sister to the docking bay. Get your stuff ready and get to the bus on time. Oh, I will, Mom. Bye-bye, Francine. Have fun in preschool. I'm off to do all the big kid stuff I've always dreamed of doing. Cause I'm Lloyd. I'm 13. Gotta believe me, I'm Lloyd. This is Lloyd talking. Francine, I don't have time for stories. Mrs. Swingbark's carpool is waiting. Hey, I, 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 I gotta go in there? Just like you do every morning. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. Mom, wait. You can't do this to me. Hi, big kids. Lloyd, my man, there you are. So? I'm churning with curiosity, Lloyd. Did the scrambler helmet work? Oh, you gave me that helmet? It works real, real good, Douglas. Better than we ever figured it to. Excellent. Um, figured it to? I saved you a seat, buddy. Ick, I don't want to sit with boys. Huh? I'm going to sit here. What in the Shrek? Uh, hello. Like, what are you doing? I'm sitting next to you, because you're really, really pretty. Like, duh. And I like your hair. It smells good. Well, yeah. Whatever. Move it, Neb, you dork. You're in my seat. Uh, newsflash, Megan. It's like a free quadrant, and Lloyd is being halfway normal today. So, like, just find another seat. <laughs> Rude. I like your dress, too. That's a real pretty color on you. You think? Dougie, I get the helmet next. It's only for a few hours. It's only for a few hours. It's only for a few hours. Francine, we're playing make-believe and I'm going to be the magical queen and you're going to be the pretty princess. I don't think so, little girl. Beat it. But you're always, always, always the pretty princess. Well, I ain't the pretty princess today. Oh, yeah, you are. Because I'm your prince and we're getting married by King Timmy today. Yeah! Hooray, hooray. Hooray, hooray. Hold my hand, princess, for this is the specialist day in your life. Oh. All righty, I'm sure all you cartilage casings read the astronomy chapter I assigned yesterday. So let's see who can name this remote planet. Besides Douglas. Ooh, ooh, teacher, teacher, I can. Huh? Nebulon? That funny old planet is Brickloid Astra. Wrong as usual, Nebula. Wait a minute. That's absolutely right. How did you know that? And what are you doing on the floor? It's where I always sit when I want to be comfy. Oh, really? 
Well, if you're so comfy down there, then I suppose you wouldn't mind naming off the rest of these planets for me. Quarkstern 12, Dufandula, Superior 7, Pimos, Rabos, Fluentifia, Zippy, Cartanula. Cartanula? Is that how you pronounce it? Sure is, teacher. And I know because I'm really, really smart. Durf, this is humiliating. Very good, girls. I think you all deserve punch. Yay! Hey, Francine, you dance like a boy. You're goofy. Hey, don't be calling me goofy, goofy. Goofus Van Doofus. Oh, real clever. I'll have you know I invented the term Goofus Van Doofus nine years ago at this very school. You're a big fat liar. Ow! Byron, no pushing. Now go to your corner. Poor Francie Wancy. Did you get a boo-boo? No, it's okay, really. I'll be fine. Oh, let me kiss it and make it all better. Huh? Hey, all right. I guess a little TLC never hurts. How about a lollipop? Would that help, too? It's definitely a start. All right, let's move it. Flirt Ball's all about hustle. Batter up. Hi, Brittany. I just love Flirt Ball. Don't you? Totally, Lloyd. Ready? <laughs> Yay for me! Yay for me! What are you waiting for, Nebulon? Run those bases. Okay. Ah! Oh, Nebulon, just rub it off, son. Oh, stop crying this instant. Okay, but will you kiss my boo-boo? Kiss your what? That's it, Nebulon. 20 laps, let's go, let's go, let's go! Laps? Oh, kitties, very nice paintings. Uh, Francine, what's this you painted? Morton the Terror Lord on his space cycle, ready to meet out justice on planet Doom. This is very progressive of you, Francine. Yeah, thanks. Here, I've got to add some weaponry. Oh, okay, well, finish up soon because it's almost nap time. Nap time? You mean you're actually telling me to sleep in school? <laughs> Why, of course, Bunny. Whoa, and what comes after that? Then we have cookies and milk, free play, and it's time to go home. You remember. Man, eating cookies, getting your boo-boos kissed, sleeping the day away. Maybe I could get used to this life after all. <sighs> Remember, students, slip the fuel rods carefully into the reactor cores you've created, making sure not to cause a meltdown. And please ask if you have any questions. Um, uh, mister, can I take my nappy now? I had to run laps and I'm real, real tired and I want to take my nappy. Please, please, pretty please. No, Mr. Nebulon, this is a nuke shop. You may not nappy. But Mommy says if I don't nap, I get cranky. Well, I can get pretty cranky myself, fella. Just keep pushing me and see. Now, are there any questions about nuclear physics? Yeah, um, mister? What is it now, Nebulon? Now I gotta go potty. Can I go potty? Nebulon, what in the void? Please, mister, I really, really, really need to go bad. <laughs> oh, for Zool's sake, just go already. Thank you. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> Detention for a week just for accidentally walking in the wrong bathroom? That's never gonna happen to me. I always check with the hand. I hate being 13. It's yucky. Well, try to cheer up before tonight, okay, Lloyd? Tonight? What's tonight? The field trip? To Dark on 5? The garbage planet? To see the eclipse and junk? It'll be really, really dark. Really dark? Why? A convergence of Dark on 5's moon cluster will occur for six and a half minutes, shielding all light and causing total darkness on the planet's surface. Who you telling? Lloyd here knows all about his planets. Come on, we'll see you at the bus, buddy. Hey, Francine, welcome home. I had a great day. Today's cookie selection was chocolate chip, by the way. How'd things go for you? Stupid. I hate being a teenager. You gotta switch back right now. Hmm. Nope, I don't think I'm ready just yet. I like being a little kid. But we have to switch back. You're going on our field trip tonight. It's gonna be dark and scary. Yeah, sounds like a drag, doesn't it? Oh, well, too bad. You were the one who wouldn't switch back with me earlier. But I don't want to go to Dark on 5. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sorry, mister. You can rant and rave all you want, but you're not getting out of that field trip. Do your homework, please. We'll have an early dinner, and then it's off to Total Eclipse land. And don't forget your windbreaker. And so the little Flabberwock was rescued by the fairy princess, and they returned to the enchanted galaxy where they lived happily ever after. That's a classic. Thanks, Mom. Good night, Francine. Good night.
Hey, uh, Mom, turn out the light for me, will ya? Turn out the light? But you always beg me to leave the light on. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> I forgot what a big baby I am. Sweetie, being afraid of the dark is nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Francine, it's easy to feel insecure when you're little, when the whole world around you seems so big. I guess. It's no wonder you want to play with Lloyd and the big kids all the time. I can remember what that was like. Lloyd was like that, too. No way. Not Lloyd. Oh, sure he was. He'd always try and tag along with the big kids. We're annoyed of Lloyd, they'd always say. And boy, talk about being scared of the dark. Lloyd was terrified. He had three nightlights around his room. Three? Yep. Clowno, Glowpod, Mr. Bulby. Hey, you're right. Being five is tough for anyone. Everybody else is telling you what to do, where to go. Kind of makes you feel like you're powerless. You're right. It really did. Sure. And that can be scary. But don't worry, because I'm here to take care of you. Thanks, Mom. Oh, sure, sweetie. Just be glad you're not flying out to Dark on 5 with Lloyd's class. <laughs> Talk about creepy. Mom, what do you say we go get Lloyd and stop him from going on that field trip? Francine, what are you talking about? Mom, he's not Lloyd and I'm not Francine. I'm Lloyd and Lloyd's really mean. She must be scared out to death right oh, now. And... Not this story again. Now you're going to have nightmares. But Mom! No more talking, little lady. Go right to sleep. Poor Francine. What have I done? And what am I going to do? Hey guys, I'm really serious. I'm not Lloyd. I'm Francine. I can't go down on that scary planet. Come on, Lloyd. I know it stinks going on a field trip on a Friday night, but you might as well drop that whole brain switching excuse because it ain't going to fly. But I really am Francine. I, I can prove it. I'll read your mind. You're thinking about... What do you know? That's right. Yay! Big deal. I'm always thinking about girls. You know that, Lloyd. Now enough with your goofiness. Start acting normal, will you? We're almost about to land. Uh -huh. What? And just where do you think you're off to at this time of night, young lady? Station, uh... I'm just stepping out for some air. Oh, dear. I'd expect something like this from your brother, but not from you. Station, please listen. I'm not me. Francine and I switched bodies with this helmet. I'm really Lloyd and Francine is me, and she's headed for Dark on 5. There's going to be a total eclipse, and she's really afraid of the dark. If you truly are who you say you are, then tell me. What embarrassing moment did you make me swear not to tell another being? <sighs> The time I got my antenna caught in the food dehydrator. <gasps> Lloyd, it is you. We'd better tell your mother. No, I've been trying to tell her all day. She won't believe me. Please, I have to get to Dark on 5 now. Hmm, Dark on 5. That's the landfill planet, isn't it? Mr. Stinker is loading the trash rocket now. He'll be launching into Dark on 5 shortly. Check. Wish me luck. Huh? Red Sea, get out of there! The thing's about to blast up! <laughs> For the love of Zemo! All right, pipe down! The lunar eclipse of Darkon 5. Tonight's spectacle is a true natural wonder and promises to be quite dramatic. Please, no flash photography. We want to fully experience complete and total darkness. <laughs> Here comes the total darkness. Remember, never look directly at the eclipsing moons. It's starting! I want my mommy! Lloyd? Hey, wait! Lloyd! Nebulon, get back here! We're only one minute away from total darkness! Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Where's Lloyd? Tell me, where is he? He ran off that way, but Francine, what in the shrack are you doing here? Can't talk! There's no time! I need your permission slip! C. 
seen? Lloyd! Oh, oh, we're, we're still alive! Now what is this? <laughs> Where's my daughter? Has anyone seen Francine? Here I am, Mommy! Francine? Sweetie, are you all right? I'm fine, Mommy. Lloyd saved me. It was really, really scary, but my big brother saved me. But I don't understand. Why did you come here? And you two, you have been acting so strangely. What's been going on? Mom, you wouldn't believe us if we told you. Come in, it's open. Hey, hey, if it ain't the curious case of the swapped out siblings. <laughs> Good one, Eddie. Hey, Lloyd, we're going to the arcade to play arcade games. Want to come? Do I ever. Let's go! Mom, go into the mall with the guys! See ya, Francine! See ya, Lloyd. Hey, you wanna come along? Do I ever! Let's go! Uh, Lloyd, you really wanna drag that little kid with? Eddie, have a heart. We were all little kids once. And some of us twice.